So we've developed technologies that are now remaking plastics. We've developed technologies that are remaking cosmetics. And the latest area of innovation that we're bringing forward is technology that we hope will soon be remaking nylon. Everybody knows nylon and nylon from uh, running shorts to nylon carpets. There's even a lot of nylon in your car. It's everywhere. And that nylon is actually made from crude oil as a feedstock to make a chemical called caprolactam. The challenge with the nylons is that the process to make them is not very sustainable. A bio-based renewable caprolactam means a 100% bio-based nylon. So imagine all those same products, but now made sustainably with renewable materials, renewable ingredients and feedstocks. So we started off our journey of developing that technology by bringing on board a fantastic partner and a real champion of sustainability, a company called Aquafil, with a very real, very tangible business in nylons. And that's where our technology comes in. Just like we did in other technologies for other chemicals before, in butane diol and in butylene glycol, we're now doing for caprolactam. We've now expanded that most recently with a, a project effective, an EU-based program that brings together a number of stakeholders in the value chain including a number of key brand owners, brand owners like H&M and Vaudi, as well as Carvico, Balsan, crossing both apparel and in the carpet industry, where these brands recognize the need to see innovations like what we're developing, get developed, come forward, and help reshape these value chains to make them more sustainable. This is one of the most exciting programs that we have going on today at Genomatica, another tremendous innovation we seek to bring to the market. We're looking for people to join in helping us to reshape this value chain. There's a lot of opportunities to get engaged, whether it's consumers of nylon, producers of nylon, brand owners who want to help reshape a more sustainable um, world.